Hey makers, this is Thruveen and welcome to Power Automate and Power BI Real Life Use Cases Step by Step series. You are watching the second episode of this series and in this session I am going to talk about how you can export the filter data set from Power BI using button. Yes, we will place one button in our Power BI report and we will export the filter data from our Power BI to CSV file. We will store this file to the OneDrive location as well as send this file as an email attachment. Let's see how we can achieve this requirement. One more interesting thing I want to tell you that if you are not aware about how you can add the Power Automate visual into Power BI, I would recommend everyone to visit my first video where I have explained the step by step procedure of adding the Power Automate visual to my Power BI report as well as some permission thing I also mentioned in that video. So, proceed for this video if you are not aware about how to add Power Automate visual into Power BI. So, Without wasting much time, let's get started. One more important announcement. I launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform. So if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family, the Instagram ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. So do follow me on my Instagram. So let's get started. But before that, here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have created my YouTube analytics report and I want to achieve the functionality that based on the selected parameter from the drop down my report data set is filtered and I want to export some of the field to the CSV format. So for that I have added one button over here in my report. Now whenever I am clicking on that button what happen here is the flow is being triggered behind the scene and what it will do is it will send the exported file in email as well as the same file is being sent and stored to the OneDrive location. So throughout this entire session we are going to cover up this scenario in detail. Now if you are not aware about how to add Power Automate Visual into Power BI and how the permission management is working in Power Automate, then do visit my first video. The link of the video is available on the i icon as well as in the description box. So let's get started and explore this feature in detail with me. The very first step that we need to do here is we need to add our Power Automate Visual into Power BI. So let's add the visual over here and let's grab the fields which we want to export. So from my tweet data set, I just wanted to add title, URL, category and hashtags. These four fields I want to export. So I added these four fields. Now let's click on edit and let's click on new button and click on instant cloud flow. Just provide the name of your flow. So I am just providing the flow name as PBI CSV export. Now the first action is by default added as Power BI button clicked. Now let's click on new step and add initialize one variable. So I am initializing one array variable over here and provide the variable name as V content. Just set the type as array over here. Once you do that we need to append our Power BI dataset value into this array. Click on new step and add an action append to array. And now select the variable name v content. And now we need to provide value over here. So for value, let's provide curly braces over here like this. Now just provide the different property that you want to add here. So let's say I just wanted to add title, then wanted to have URL. So place all this property into double inverted comma, then place colon and then double inverted comma and then comma. Right? So basically you need to create some JSON structure over here. Then add category, then colon and then double inverted comma 
comma and then at last hashtags colon double inverted comma and over here in title as well double inverted comma and comma now we need to add the properties over here so from here what you find here is let's say I'm selecting this title so here you can see that I found a property called Power BI Data Title because these are the fields that we have added here. So let's grab the title property and once you add that property you can see that it has added automatically applied to each loop on top of that. So let's keep as it is. Same way let's add URL. So just add Power BI Data URL description then same way category Power BI Data category and hashtags Power BI Data hashtags. So we have added that right so that's totally fine so our append to array variable is prepared now what we need to do here is we need to click on new step and just search for the data operations and from data operations click on create csv table now in from variable let's provide the value that we have stored in form of array that is v content so let's pass over that and we are good right now what we want to do here is we want to send this file as an email attachment as well as wanted to store in the onedrive so people can directly download that file to the onedrive location so for that you need to add an action create file create file so you can see OneDrive for business section that is create file. Now first we need to provide the folder path. Now in my OneDrive what I want to do here is I want to create one folder over here. Let's say my folder name is PBI export and I want to store all of my files to this specific folder. So basically I need to go here and just need to select this folder location. Click on root. And then let's select the folder which is Power BI export. So that will add this folder path. Now let's provide the file name. So I want to provide the file name as UTC now. Every time it will generate unique file name. So what I want to do here is I just want to export PBI export then UTC now that we already added and then at last let's add an extension called CSV right so we have added that and in file content whatever the outcome from this CSV table let's pass it over here so I'm just passing the outcome of create CSV table so let's provide this output here right and we are good let's save this thing now with this let me add one more action to send the same file to the email as well so let's add an action send an email let's add this outlook action now whom we want to send an email so basically i want to send an email to the user who has clicked the button so i'm just selecting this and click on add dynamic button and over here you will find the user email who has clicked the button so let's pass that user email let's provide subject pbi export youtube analytics and just provide the date for today so i'm just adding an expression utc now and then let's provide some body content so hello the file is attached right and click on show advanced option over here you want to provide your attachment name and attachment content so in attachment name let's do one thing let's provide the date for today that is UTC now and let's provide attachment name as PBI export and let and at last let's provide the extension CSV and in file content let's provide the outcome of create csv table so let's provide that output over here and we are good 
let's click on save and finally let's apply this flow on our button so click on save and apply so what happen here is this flow will apply to our power bi report now go back back to the report and let's arrange this button properly let's just go to the property and let's just change the button text export data right so we are good here now let me just click on save let me just go to the reading mode and now you can see that at this moment i have this many of records now let me just filter my category as power apps and power bi two category i want to keep here and i want to filter this data so what i will do is i will just click on export data and let's see what will happen over here so the flow has been triggered successfully and now let's check the flow ran over here so you can simply open your flow.microsoft.com just go to the my flows and the same flow is created for you over here pbi csv export and you can see the flow is running at this moment so let it to be complete and here we are i just received an email with the file and let me just check this particular file over here and in category you can see that i have filtered data based on only power apps and power bi so this many of rows has been exported over here and i just received this file here same way let me just check the one drive location so i'm just going here and i'm just clicking on the power bi export folder and you can see here as well the same file is created and when i click open i am able to see the exact same file over here as well and let's check the flow ran now i'm going to the here let's just hit refresh let's try to open up and you can see uh, on power bi button clicked just go here we just initialize variable goes to the apply to each and prepare the csv table and once our csv table is created we are just creating a file and send that file as an email attachment over here so hope this is clear for you now so this is how you can simply export the selected data using button inside the power bi report now one more important thing if you are using publish to web option at that time this will cause an issue if anonymous people is trying to access this button because to run this particular power automate flow you basically need to provide permission to the user on the flow and that is something i explained in my earlier video so basically in run only users you need to provide the permission to the user who has the access to export this data hope this video helps you and values your time if you have any another use case for power bi and power automate feel free to add in the comment section i will consider that and prepare some another video on top of that